Hey Forum, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station and this one is a very special collaboration with my good friend Tiff Benson with her top 5 formal fragrances for men. Now believe it or not, I'm still away on business and things have been kind of a rush so I'm clearly not dressed up for this formal video but the always classy Tiff Benson is, I'll get to her in just a sec but just be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll explain which fragrance of Tiff's is my personal favorite and why. But without further ado, take it away, Miss Benson. Tip Benson here. Thank you so much, Manny, for allowing me to come on your channel and share my top five men's formal fragrances with your audience. I'm super excited to get started because these fragrances I really like, I really enjoy, they perform well, and they're perfect for an elegant and formal occasion. So let's get into it. These fragrances are a 10 out of 10 when it comes to wearing formal and elegant wear, so don't think that one is better than the other. Any one of these will work for you. The first fragrance that I want to mention to you is Prada Loam. Now, this is such a beautiful fragrance. It is so well done. I cannot stress that enough. It was created in 2016, and it's just an amazingly distinct iris and amber scent. There's nothing quite like it on the market and it screams elegance and class. The EDT concentration, it also comes in the intense version. I'm suggesting the toilet, but if you want something that's a little bit stronger, definitely go for the intense. It'll last longer as well. It's sleek, it's dynamic, it's a beautiful amber and iris scent. It's so well done, and I would love to smell it on any guest at a party. My next pick is Armani Code's Perfumum. Now, this is one that is a spicy oriental, so for all my oriental lovers out there, you're going to love it. It smells like Armani Code, just better. It's sweeter, it projects more. In my opinion, it makes more of a statement. And I could definitely see you wearing it to an upscale event as it commands attention and is super seductive and alluring. Its top notes are green apple and cardamom, so it's very sweet in the opening, but then it dries down into an amber with tonka bean. It's just a very creamy, leathery, upscale fragrance that I know people love. The next scent that I want to suggest to you is Egoist Platinum by Chanel. I adore this scent. It is so damn good. If you like woodiness, freshness, and a little bit of floral in your fragrance, you will adore it as well. It has notes of rosemary, lavender, neroli, pedigree. There's sandalwood in there, and it's a sandalwood like none other. It was created in 1993 by Jacques Polge, who is a master perfumer who's done plenty of fragrances for the House of Chanel, and I just adore this one. It's sparkling, woody, polished, and extremely fitting for an elegant occasion. My next choice is Fahrenheit by Dior. So if you consider yourself a classic man, it doesn't get more classic than this. This was the first ever men's offering from the House of Dior, and it is remarkable. This fragrance was created in 1988 and I feel like it's still just as relevant now as it was when it was created. And I would have to say that this fragrance has a rigidness or tightness to it that makes you feel like you have to be in a suit when you're wearing it. It's definitely not a dress down sort of scent. It's something that you wear when you're going out and I think it'd be perfect for any sort of formal party occasion. Fahrenheit is not for everyone. It takes a certain type of gentleman to wear this and pull it off. It's the first of its kind, so it has a rigidness to it, and it's a very stern and powerful scent. And if you're someone who likes to command attention and take over as if you're some sort of authority, this might be the one for you. Last but certainly not least is 
Roja's Creation E. It is so freaking elegant. Many say that this smells like Coca-Cola, but it's so much more than a soda-like scent. It has notes of jasmine, ginger, tobacco, cognac, patchouli, benzoin. I get a lot of cognac in this fragrance and tobacco, and I love that. Cognac to me in a fragrance smells luxurious and if you've ever smelled this you know the quality of this juice it projects it projects and it projects and it goes on and on and on you will not have to worry about this dying out on you because this lasts so long on the skin and even longer on clothes it's a compliment getter and it's sweet sexy and powerful so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sure that Manny left my links below to follow me on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Manny for allowing me to be here and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. So there it is guys, I hope you enjoyed what Tiff had to say about her favorite men's formal fragrances. But it's at the time of the video where I explain which one is my favorite and why. And I think it's no surprise to you guys, I'm gonna go with Platinum Ego East. Now, Platinum Ego East by Chanel is to me the quintessential work fragrance, which you guys may or may not have heard from me already. But if it's metallic vibe leans anywhere else, I would definitely say it's geared towards suits and just formal wear in general. To me, it just screams steely, cold, suave sex appeal, and somehow I just really, really love it. But yeah, now I think that officially does it. So as always, I'd like to thank you for the ongoing support forum. You as always are awesome. I'll leave both of our links in the description below. So if you haven't checked Tiff out yet, what are you waiting for? get on that so take care as always guys peace out bye where are your fragrances